Ah, the beauty of realism. Artistic, majestic. But is it art? I say yes. But there's this. And of course this. Hi, I'm Andy Peters. You might remember me from such films as the one you're watching now. You know what it's time for. It's time to talk about art. It's time to talk about, it's time to talk about all the good things and the bad things that. <laughs> Ooh, when a dad joke is written that poorly. Oh. Art, it's what I like. As you saw at the beginning, I started gray, and that's fine. Uh, that's what I call a realistic X plus type, type of figures. I love them, desperately. But something happened along the way. <sighs> I have this thing in my brain where, well, obviously, as you can see, I need things to be repetitive and uh, colorful over and over, and of course, glitter. But let's talk about the real core issue here. Fabergé eggs. Couldn't afford them. I, even when I was a little boy, I was like, how could anything be made so intricately and beautiful? And then, you know, you find out how much they cost, and you think, well, I'm gonna need a good job. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need what kind of job? I'm gonna have to do what to who? How many times? Okay, no. It's art, folks. Then all of a sudden, I stumbled upon these large Godzilla figures. Started buying them. But the truth of the matter is, I saw a picture one day, and here it is. All of this. Now let's talk about hetero, shall we? I could have gone any old way you want. They're so fooby up a treat. But you see, here's, he's a punk god, right? He's come down to punish us for what we rightly deserve to be belted down into bones. Mm. The fact that he has so many damn forms. I mean, if you've seen the film, which I don't know, he transforms into several different forms, which means, oh boy, you get to collect those. Whee! Colors and repetition is what sort of drives this whole damn room. That is uh, but yes, it, it really is about the the art itself. Uh, you, you just don't, that, I guess that's kind of the thing. It went from Fabergé to this because just like the Fabergé eggs, why? They're just, why would Fabergé bother to put tiny encrusted jewels on an egg that winds up in a little bird? Out because people were rich and were willing to pay for it. The czars of Russia. So I'm not a czar of Russia, but I can collect these delicious so foody. He's on a fucking tricycle. Glow in the dark, but splattered with paint. This is Laura. Huge. Filled with blue glitter. Just a beautiful sculpture that someone bothered to throw glitter in. You don't think I come in here and it's a total brain drain where I just turn the brain off and just go and stare at this? And this, and this, it really does help the mind unwind, if it will. Why does it exist? That's why it exists, because why the hell not? Uh, so Fubi collecting, I didn't think it was gonna take over as much as it did, but it really is, again, just the art of all of this. And this, and this, that just makes it very plain that, uh, you know, there's something to this. There's some magic in it. The elaborate nature is really what it is. And art is all about that, in my opinion. Just being, like, having a vision and doing something completely elaborate that really doesn't have any reason to exist other than art. Which is why it's not like the replications of the figures, you know. It's the fact that they made him into Sofubi, which would be stylized. Somebody went, oh, I like that one thing. Let me art that up for you. And then somebody else comes along and goes, hey, I wish that was in the weirdest colorway I could possibly think of. Art. I've been Andy Peters. See you next time.